Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming to my press conference. I'd like to talk a little bit about uh, fears and travel restrictions because, you know, hey, we've got some travel restrictions here on Geekazine.com. Today we're going to talk about podium mics for conference calls. Basically, you now you're probably going to have to worry a little bit about what's going to happen uh, with your job. And some of you do a lot of travel. I do a lot of travel when it comes to uh, going places and, you know, meeting people because that's that's what I do. That's that's how it works. But with a lot of conferences canceling and a lot of companies now putting on what are called travel restrictions. Uh, so you are very restricted in your travel uh, for your job to make sure that you stay safe and the company can make sure that you're safe and everything like that. Uh, so what they're doing is now we're, we're looking into more video conferencing. And so some of you, uh, which rely on face-to-face, -face, now we're going to have to find this new reality of conference calling. And maybe your computer is not set up for it. Maybe you have an older computer. Maybe, oh, I'll try and do some phone conferences using just, you know, the, the speakers and the, uh, and the microphone and, and all that. And that always, that doesn't work. Doesn't work. So basically we're going to, in this little review, we're going to do a couple videos here. The first one is about microphones, podium microphones. These are simple microphones. Uh, two of them are USB. One is XLR. And the idea is to show you uh, having a external microphone source, what that can do when you're doing a lot of phone calls, a lot of conference calls as you're going. Now, the one thing I like about podium microphones as opposed to those big old microphones you see podcasters use like uh, on the stands and stuff like that is just basically the fact that they're very slimline and they look kind of decent when, uh, when you're in front of a camera because they're just so small and they're, they show that there's a microphone there, but it doesn't have to be empowering the whole view. So you can see my face, you can see the microphone, and when you go face to face with somebody, there's no microphone involved there. If there is, you know, it's, it's so small, you, you just don't see it. So that's the same idea. So you can look at a camera and look at the person you're talking to. They can see you as close to eye to eye as possible, and you can speak clearly, and they can understand you. Now, these microphones aren't going to be the best microphones in the world, but they're affordable, and that's the key right there. Now, what we've got, we've got three microphones. Let me show you the three microphones. Two of them are USB-based, and one of them is XLR-based. XLR, of course, being like a, you know, like a regular microphone here. Whoops, wrong one. Let's do that. There we go. Uh, being like a regular microphone that you would hook to a mixing board uh, through an XLR cable so you can... Uh, so you can control it through the mixer. Now, I've had this one for about a year and a half, and I use it from time to time when I don't want to put on the headset mic and, uh, and, and just get some information out there. Uh, these two I, I just picked up on Amazon, and I do want to tell you that, uh, first of all, with my review process, all of these microphones I purchased with my own money. If you have any questions, I want to know what, more about that, go over to geekazine.com forward slash review. And uh, I'll lay out all the rules and regulations, what, what I do for reviews. So no money has come through. All opinions are of Geekazine as always. So we're going to start with the pile since I do know it best and we are talking through it. And of course, we will talk through the other microphones as well. The key of this is that we're going to try and keep it as clean as possible, which means no post-processing. Right now, this microphone is set up for post-processing, and there's not much you can do with a mixer because you'll have to set the gain and you'll have to set the levels. But once you do that, you can control compression, you can control gating and stuff like that. And right now, that's all set up right now. So I'm going to turn that off in a second here and show you how this sounds without gating and I'm tapping on the table and I'm getting kind of close so you can hear the plosives Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers you hear the pops you know that's not much you can do on certain microphones you just have to figure out how to deal with it that's why a lot of people have windscreens and two of these have windscreens for it the third one here yeah this third one 
It doesn't come with a windscreen that I saw in the box, but you can easily get some sort of windscreen if it becomes a problem. Now, a lot of you are just going to be doing conference calls. It's still important to be able to have your voice heard and uh, reduce the room echo. And that's, that's a key right there. Now, my room here has a little bit of sound control to it. So it doesn't echo, echo, echo. Like, you know, a lot of rooms that you would get into a conference room or something like that. But you definitely want to put that into consideration when you are choosing your microphone. So we're going to just test the three and uh, go from there, show you the, the, the features and everything like that. Like I said, we're going to start with the Pile. This is the Pile uh, PD Mic C5. And uh, you can get it on Pile's website, or we do have, a, I'll have a link to Amazon uh, there. It is a, basically a wired XLR microphone, podium microphone, uh, that does require a mixer with phantom power to use. But if you have all that already set up, it's not a big deal. Uh, there's uh, n there is a nine volt battery that you can put in there, but with the uh, phantom power, you don't need to to worry about that. So, uh, let's see. Well, we got uh, we got the the PD mic C5, and uh, it's got the I had the range right here, which is something like uh, four uh, no twenty hertz to 14 kilohertz no 40 hertz there we go 40 hertz to 16 kilohertz with a 200 ohm output impedance and a sensitivity of minus 40 db to 2 db now you might not know all that information what that information means it just means the range so this microphone is not good not great if you have if you're micing it up on a bass drum for you know something with a low sound to it uh, but higher end voices female voices will work really well on a microphone like this because it gets up to about 16 kilohertz so it can it can it's got a decent range for vocals and that's the key right there 40 to 16 uh, 40 hertz to 16 kilohertz perfect right there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn off the compression the eq and the gate and you're going to hear this in its raw state so let's do that right now all right there we go so now i've killed the eq i've killed the compression i'll do a peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers and sally sells seashells by the seashore so you hear what this microphone sounds like as we go so i'm going to turn those back on as we move to the other microphones now keep in mind this is the only microphone that has any type of uh, effects set to it simply because of the fact this is what I normally use and I've already had it set up that way for a very long time. The one thing I do like about this microphone uh, is Pile's support. Now, this is not the first one I had in the line. The first one I had actually died. And so I called up their support. They have one year support on it. They sent me another one without question. And, uh, and they basically said, well, keep the other one. I threw it away because it was broken anyway. But uh, it, you know, the, the support they got within 30 days, I got a replacement mi microphone. So that's pretty cool on there. The price on this is about $33. Uh, and, of course, that depends on when you purchase the microphone. It could go up. It could go down. You, you don't know. But the idea is that this is the microphone right here. Uh, that will hook up to a mixing board. So if you don't have a mixing board with phantom power, you'll need to add that. And of course, figuring out how to bring it into the computer. So that's the Pile PD Mic C5. Let's move on from there. Let's go over to the CM Tech. That's the one over here, the smallest one. We're going to move this slightly over. Hopefully you don't hear that too much. All three of these microphones will have noise so if you tap the table and things like that it's going to pick it up but you know there are ways around that you can put it onto you can put these microphones onto like uh, a towel or something like that maybe uh, a small box you know raise it up so it reduces that type of noise but the cool thing is and things that people don't realize is when they're talking on a laptop 
microphone. They start typing on the keyboard, and all of a sudden, everybody else hears that in abundance, and it's just annoying. The other thing, of course, is echo, and that's because the microphone is so close to the speakers, that it, and you're not wearing headphones, then all of a sudden you have this uh, this feedback, and everybody hates that feedback. But the originator doesn't hear that feedback a lot of the time. So therefore, they don't know how to fix it. And then somebody's saying, somebody's microphone's going crazy, and then they, you know, they spend five minutes trying to get that figured out. And uh, yeah, so, uh, so that's, that's one of the great reasons of having uh, an, an external microphone. And in a podium microphone, you can be a little bit freer so you can sit back a little bit or come closer to the microphone if they can't hear you and really uh, express your ideas and things like that. So going to the CM Tech, we're also going to move this uh, microphone over. CM Tech will go over to the PTZ. This is the CM Tech right here. It's not on yet. Uh, some of the key features right here is it does have a mute button up here. It is USB based. So that means that it's uh, it, you can just plug it right into your laptop and go from there. And uh, it's got it does have some electronics in there to do a little bit of noise cancellation to do a little bit of uh, to do a little bit of control and the other thing is it's got a fully adjustable gooseneck arm so you can bring it up to you you can lift it up a little bit get it away from you bring it back if you need to and then go from there this is the smallest of the three microphones although these two are, are pretty comparable in size. So it's tall enough to get as close to your mouth as possible, but it's small enough where you could actually put it into a bag. Now, I'm going to flip over to the CM Tech. So this might be a little pop here. And now, oh yeah, you can hear you. Why? I should probably mute that now. You are hearing it from the CM Tech microphone. As you can see, when you're talking, the light is blinking right there, uh, the green light. Now, it, the mute button's up here, so if I hit the mute button, this will turn red, and then you won't hear my voice. I'll count to 10. One, two, eight, nine, ten. Simple enough, right? So you can see that a it's plugged in with these nice blue lights. So if you don't have, if you don't have the lights on full, if you're not doing a video conference call or a podcast for that matter, then you you know that this is on. Uh, of course, you know that it's working because of the green light. And then if you're in mute, this turns. Just like that. Now, a little bit of tapping on the table so you can hear that. A little bit of plosives. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. And uh, that's pretty much it. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. Now, once again, this is without any extra uh, setup or anything like that. You can get some apps depending on if you're using a Mac, if you're using a PC. The, some of these microphones, I haven't tested them up. Uh, hooking up, up to iPads or iPhones or anything like that, but they might be able to work uh, through those devices. You can test that out on your own. But these are these are microphones that will work great for the Mac or PC and uh, go from there. And then, of course, you can get apps that can control the sound a little bit more if you need that control. And that is right there, this one, the Flexible Gooseneck 360 Adjustable. And you're still hearing it from the microphone from CM Tech. All right, let's move on from here. We are going to, and we're going to flip back here to the main one, which is the pile. There we go. Check, check, one, two. Yeah, there we are. So now we're going to move this microphone out of the way, and we're going to flip it over to this microphone, which is the Fifine, F-I-F-I-N-E, uh, podium microphone. Now keep in mind some of these, uh, I found these on Amazon. They've got some interesting names to them. All, all three of these have their own company web pages to them. And I found them on those as opposed to an Amazon page as you're seeing right now. So I, when I go to search for low, lower end microphones like this one, I try to see if they have a website and that's very important uh, because there's some companies that will buy stock of a certain device and then they'll slap their name on it and then they'll send it out and saying that's theirs. They still do that here, but at least they have 
uh, some sort of accountability, some sort of way to get a hold of them. And, and these companies do more uh, than just this microphone. Like, for instance, uh, as you can see with the Fafine, uh, they have wireless systems, they have USB microphones, they have recording and video conferencing, gaming stuff, live performance stuff through that. Uh, going back to the CM Tech, they have desktop microphones, gaming microphones, vocal microphones. So they have, and of course, Pile, Pile does a lot of audio visual, not only podium microphones, but wireless microphones, but speaker systems, mixing consoles, and all that other good stuff. So with this, that's that was the kind of the criteria on getting these microphones. Now we've got the Fafine, and let's take a look. This is one I'm, I'm impressed because it's got one other feature that the others don't have and that can really help. And that is, it's got a volume feature. Now, with the pile, you don't need to have a volume feature because that's what the mixing board is for, to improve the uh, the sound by pumping up the volume a little bit more. With the Fafine, this is a USB microphone, so the volume is right here. Uh, of course, it's got the mute button, just like with the other one. And then it's got a, what's called a double gooseneck. So there's a small gooseneck down here to bring it up and down here, and then an upper gooseneck to uh to tilt it like that so we'll get close to the voice we'll come back to here and now we're going to switch over to the fafine microphone and i got the volume down to nothing and i'm going to go all the way up to a hundred percent and then back down so stick with me for a second here one two three four Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, let's get it at a decent level here so we're not blowing out your ears from the other ones. It had the mute on <laughs> when I started, so let's uh, turn the mute. Let's do the mute again. One, two, three, eight, nine, ten. So it's got the ability to mute the uh, mute the microphone. It's got the ability to change the level so you can go into like a Skype or something like that. And you can adjust the level right from there. And then you'll have a microphone ready to go. So the Fafine microphone, it's its actually the smallest of the three. Although with the gooseneck, that doesn't make it the most portable. The, uh, the CM Tech one can be moved around. As you can see, I can adjust it. So I could put it into a bag. But this one will basically lay down and then back up. So this might be perfect for not as much travel as, you know, something that you have on your desktop ready to uh, do any type of talking uh, that you go. This one, like I said, you could put it in a bag. The, this one I believe is also working for gamers and it's got a cool look to it uh, for your gaming, your, your uh, vlogging experience on whatever twitch and and things like that and go from there so this is the fafine once again no no extra stuff to it it's what you're hearing is what i'm saying let's do a little tapping so you hear that and then of course peter piper picked a peck of pickled peppers sally sells seashells by the seashore now with that said these are the three microphones i'm going to switch back to the pile here for a second all right, we are back to this microphone. So I don't know how these sounded because I wasn't he listening to it as I was speaking. So these might go completely crazy. These might go not too bad. I'll talk about it in the show notes, how I felt that they sounded. and then. But you've got a good idea of how they sound for a voice like mine. If you've got a voice similar to mine, then it's perfect. If you decide that you know, if you have something on uh, your voice that's higher, or a voice that's lower, then uh, then you might want to check out the uh, the different specs of each of these microphones. But these are these the microphones that really work, and they'll, they'll just connect up. If you got a Windows or a Mac machine, there shouldn't be a problem in them connecting up. They both connected up to both Windows and Mac easily, all three of them technically. Uh, so it's not a problem on that. Uh, you, of course, if you have a Mac you, and you got a newer Mac, you'll have to get the USB to USB-C connector. But once you get it connected up, there is no problem with uh, using these microphones in any situation. So these are three of many you'll definitely find on Amazon. In, in fact, if I go to Amazon right now and go podium microphone,
you're going to get a ton of options here. And we'll go like right here. Uh, everything from microphones like these are really cool uh, uh, microphones from Neat. I interviewed them at CES a few years ago, but then you get into some of these other podium microphones. They'll have three and a half millimeter jacks. If you've got a laptop that has a three and a half millimeter jack, make sure it's not a triple pole, you know, like uh, like an Apple headphone three pole type uh, thing, because the microphone might not work correct if it's this is only a two pole. 3.5 millimeter jack or what's called a trrs 3.5 uh but as you can see here's the pile right here there's more slimline ones in xlr in usb uh of course uh, if you need a usb just add usb to the uh to the mix there and uh, go from there there's also area mics like for instance this audio technica pro 44 cardioid boundary microphone i've got one of these and these are nice too because it's also xlr um but basically you'll definitely want to have a towel to, or something to put on there but then you can put it right on the desktop and then you could talk and nobody sees a microphone in your frame but they can still hear you so that that's nice and they have usb versions of that microphone as well so as you can see there are many different options uh starting at around twelve thirteen dollars all the way up and then of course if you do have the standard podcast microphones you can definitely use them if you, if that's what works best for you so that's it that's our gamut uh, that's what we're looking at when it comes to podium microphones for conference calls what do you think what do you use let me know uh you can tweet me over at geekazine geekazine at gmail.com all that other good stuff it's right here as we talk about that definitely want to hear your thoughts on what you're going to use for microphones if you have to do more conference calls uh, if you have any questions on that, I'm actually going to be putting out a video on some strategies to make yourself more presentable inside of a conference call, especially if you're doing podcasting and you want to get yourself in front of that webcam on the top of your laptop, you can definitely do that and a whole bunch more. So thanks a lot for watching. You guys have a great day. Geek out and we will see you next time. Take care.